sunny day in North Queensland. I'm still in beautiful Horseshoe Bay and I thought that I would come on a different space in the boat today and come up to the beautiful flybridge on board uh, MV Cavalino. Before I roll out my mat today, I'm also wanting to just show you <laughs> If you're on a boat, as many of you are, that i am um, been playing with the, the lines and the teak deck and um, Juliana won a yoga mat on my last uh, workshop and at uh, the Boatworks and it has lines on it so it's a really great mat to show you where to actually place your feet and I'm all about talking about feet a lot lately because I'm finding more and more and more with all my students that um, you know just checking in with the feet if we don't before we move on to a pose and I've, I've done a class on this before and and you know I don't want to bang on about it but it is super super important because you're never going to be in your pose correctly unless your feet are correct and your feet are the ones that are going to align you to actually open the hips or uh, create less uh, discomfort on knees and so forth. So what I wanted to just show you with your teak decks and um, I've been playing with not rolling my mat out on the boat and um, using it as a guide to where to place my feet. So for instance, uh, when I place my left foot forward here, I've got my toe along one of the, uh, the silicon lines on the deck and um, we've done this before and I'm just going to back onto you so and just placing your right foot out a little bit off to the right. But as you know, we step back about one leg width distance of our legs apart. And now um, here on the, on the vertical lines, you've got your heel to arch alignment. So when you look down, you just see your heel and your arch are in one line. Of course, if you're over more with your heel to heel alignment, sometimes that can be a little bit more advanced if you're not familiar. And instantly when I stepped that forward, I took, I put a little bit of torque onto my knee. So just play with that stepping back. It just seems to take that off. But when you align yourself heel to arch, or if you're more advanced and you don't have any issues with being heel to heel, then go for it. But basically we really do heel to arch most of the time. Again though, what I want to show you is if we go vertical onto the mat, and I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in the frame, and I'm stepping my uh, left foot forward, and I actually have my hole from my left big toe to my heel running parallel to the vertical silicon, silicon lines on the timber deck. And then I do again, take my right foot out on that right angle, and step back. Now it gives you more of a better idea um, of the lines and the parallel of, of your feet because as I said that left foot forward is parallel aligned with the vertical line. Then when I step back without, if I would have continued on now and maybe went into warrior two um, without looking at my feet, when I've stepped back I'm actually heel to nearly my big toe aligned. So I need to step over and um, here I can see with the vertical lines that my heel is just on the other side of that vertical line that my front foot is aligned to. So now I'm heel, heel to arch alignment. So I can just take that tiny little bit of preparation, uh, gaze down at your foot the first time before you even start um, with any physical practice just to make sure that they're aligned and check in with how you're feeling. All right, let's begin. Let's come to the front of our mats, toes touching, heels slightly apart, hands to our heart space. Let's close down the eyes. If you're on the boat, just allow yourself to be facing wherever the waves are. If you're gently able to float the feet up and down with the natural movement of the boat. Or if you're at home, again, just relax and feel comfortable in this space, this standing space. I'm a CT standing position. Check in with your intention for bringing you to your mat today.
whatever you would like to achieve out of your practice today, draw that intention in with an inhalation and exhale it out to the universe to receive. Allow your hands to float down alongside the body into our Tadasana mountain pose. Slightly tip the pubic bone up, take any pressure off the lumbar area, keeping that nice soft gaze. Imagine those eyes and those tiny hammocks. You're aware and focused, like your chitvrittis, that constant chatter in your mind, just like the clouds in the sky, let them float by. Inhale, let's draw our arms up towards the sky for our sun salutations. Draw breath in and with the exhalation, release breath out. Allow the head to float down towards the mat. Relax and breathe. Inhale, come back up into your Ara Uttanasana, halfway lift. Send all breath out as you fall back into your Uttanasana. Step back into our Bhujangasana, like high plank, then dropping the knees. Draw arms alongside the body. Come down through the arms. Point the toes away and come up into your cobra pose. Then press yourself back into downward facing dog. Draw your inhalations in here and your exhalations out. Hands are spread, toes are spread, heels towards the mat, arms, ears resting alongside each other and the head just release it down we are falling, we're not holding it up you know, we're just letting it fall feel strong and supported as you press the heels towards the earth feeling the extension in the calf muscles hamstrings, whole spine release look forward between the hands step or jump forward to the front of the mat toes together, come back up into your Ara Uttanasana halfway lift Send all breath out as you fold, release, let go, maybe you need to bend your knees, whatever you're feeling like doing today, honour your body, draw hands back up, become long in the spine, reach with the fingertips towards the sky, bring your hands together in prayer position and back down to your heart space, beautiful. Exhale, hands back down into our mountain pose and then drawing arms back up towards the sky, reaching, reaching, saluting the sun. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, allow the hands to float out towards the sky, allow the head to fall and relax the head and breathe out. Inhale, come up into your halfway lift, Ara Uttanasana. Then Uttanasana, exhale, release, fold over the legs again. Breathe all breath out. Nice, strong feet into the earth. Extension of the spine. Step yourself back into your high plank. Dropping your knees. Coming into your Bhujangasana. Bend the elbows. Move yourself through the arms. Gather the elbows in towards the ribcage. Come back up. Halfway into your cobra pose. Pointing the toes away. Then curl the toes and press the hips back. Down the face and drop. Creating heat in the body. Creating length and extension, creating peace and comfort in every breath that we take in and release out. Always breathing long and deep throughout every pose when you rest in this space. It's all we're thinking about is our breath and movement. Step or jump forward to the front of the mat. Come back up into your Ara Uttanasana halfway lift and exhale, send all breath out as you fold. You can really reach those sit bones high. Exhale, allow the head to descend towards the earth. Fingertips just gently touching the earth or you can wrap them around the back of the calf muscles if you like. Inhale, come back up. Drawing fingertips towards the sky, reaching, 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 bring the hands together in prayer. Again this time, cross the thumbs and press the hips forward, arch back a little bit. And then bring your hands together into that heart space. Beautiful. Let's come to our tree pose. So we're going to take our right toes and just 
press that left heel gently, I mean, sorry, right heel gently uh, to just above the ankle. Hands to the hips and release the arms out like the branches. Or if you like, you can bring your hands together in prayer position all the way alongside the arms. Remember, just like the trees, we sway and on a boat, we're always swaying. So stay here in this space, but if you feel you want to go a little deeper and raise the right foot up. The big thing here with tree pose and with this foot, we're opening out this way. So we're not we're wanting the hips to be square, but wherever we are, we're actually wanting our knee to be opening. So you're actually feeling it in the hip area as well. So it doesn't matter where you are in the space, you still should have that knee out towards the right and the left hip coming over so you've got that nice space and opening. One more breath and wherever you are drop your foot and release your hands back down to your heart space. Let's go to the other side, hands to the hips. I always like that just to keep maybe give us a little bit of balance. So toes are pointing, we're resting the heel just above the ankle and we're staying there, opening the branches, if that's where you want to be today. We can leave the hands on the hips if that helps you with your balance. Slide that right foot up below the knee, but above the ankle and open that knee up. So go as deep as you would like to be. It's a little bit wobbly here today, especially on the top deck of this boat. We are, I'm up very high in the flybridge, so it's interesting for me to do these balancing poses or any yoga. Um, on the boat because it's different. It's different to the yacht and the catamaran. Obviously the catamaran has a lot more balance. So bring the hands back to your heart space and close down the eyes, relax and breathe here. Allow the hands to float back down alongside the body into Tadasana mountain pose. Keeping long towards the sky, crown of the head reaching, reaching eyes soft, sweeping the hands up towards the sky, and then across and go into eagle pose. So I've wrapped, I've sat down uh, like chair pose and I've wrapped my right arm around my left and I've sat down a little bit there. And then I'm just taking my right toes and I'm taking them across to the outside of the left heel. I'll stay right here if you like, or if you have the ability, to cross and wrap the right foot around the calf muscle, go for it. Keep breathing. Drawing breath in and releasing breath out. Trying to get the best angle. We're moving around a little bit on the boat today. So which is the best way for me to be facing directly into the wind. I feel a little bit more balanced there because the boat's rocking from bow to stern. Last breath, <laughs> let's unwrap and come back down into our mountain pose. Toes touching, heels slightly apart, hands alongside the body. Whew, that can be an intense pose too. So let's move to the other side. So this time we're raising the arms up and we're taking left arm underneath right to cross for our eagle arms, sitting down like we're sitting down into a chair. This time we're going to sweep our left foot, we're just going to sweep it over to the outside of the right. And just get your balance, your gaze, your drifty, something to focus on in front of you. So if you have the ability to wrap your toes around the calf muscle, go for it. Struggling a little bit with that today, <laughs> breathing into this space because the boat is rocking a fair bit and um, this is my weaker ankle as well with my after my break so it's not still strong supporting me so I'm going to honor my body and just stay with that right foot planted and the little toes on the other side keep breathing keep smiling one more breath and relax out of the pose raise the arms up towards the sky and let's exhale, let's send our sit bones high as we release Uttanasana, fold over the legs and relax and breathe as I send breath out.
come back up into your halfway lift and send all breath out as you fold. Moving into your Bhujangasana, high plank, then drop the knees, elbows down, come through the arms, send the toes back, trying to find some space there. Coming up into our Cobra Pose and hips high, coming into our downward facing dog, releasing all breath out. So wherever you are today, hope this practice is allowing you to create some focus. Hope the beautiful scenery is making you smile, is making you feel warm. We're very blessed to be here and escaping our cold winter down south. You know, many of you. One more breath, step or jump forward to the front of the mat. Toes touching, coming up into your Ardha Uttanasana, sending all breath out as you fold over the legs, release. Inhale, draw arms up towards the sky, reaching, reaching, hands together in prayer, sending those hips forward, chest forward to open and expand. Use those fingertips to lengthen the spine, to take any pressure off the lower back, and bring the hands back down to your heart space. Beautiful. So let's do a variation of pigeon pose here which is a standing pigeon pose so I'll make sure that I'm still in this frame here for you yes I am might just go over here a little bit yeah so we're going to bring our toes together heels slightly apart but I want you to make sure that if you have something to hang on to here especially with the rocking of the boat for me um, use that right hand so we're going to take our our left leg is straight, remember spread the toes, ground down, become strong in the leg. And just take that right foot and just place it over and above the left knee. And just sit down like you're sitting down into a chair and raise that left arm up towards the sky. And then as you sit down, just send that left hip back a little bit and so your buttock sort of moves out a little bit towards the back. Chest is forward and expanse, expansive and breathe into this space. This is, you're feeling this in the top of the left quadricep, that's also a hip opener on the right side of the body with that bent knee, so keep breathing, keep smiling. And one more breath, come back out of it and come standing, toes touching, heels slightly apart. Again, you could change it up by bringing the hands to the hips and just draw that left ankle just below or above that right knee, sit down like you're sitting down into a chair. And you can release both arms up towards the sky if you want. Just play with it to see where you are feeling. So again, it's a little bit too rocky and my dodgy ankle. So I'm gonna come and hold on. And there's no shame in having to hang on to a rail or somewhere in the galley or wherever you are in your berth or at home somewhere next to a chest of drawers. So if you've seen me practice before, just keep breathing, keep spreading the toes of the bent knee. Have your arm anywhere you like, align with your shoulder or up. As we know, we've always got to adjust ourselves in every pose. We're all getting some little ailments, whether it be shoulder, hips, or, or knees as we age. Um, so just adjust if we've had the injury to compensate for that. Relax out of the pose, bring our our hands back to our heart space coming resting now into our mountain pose arms alongside the body keep breathing drawing breath in and releasing breath out let it go breathe out drawing breath in here and releasing breath out and let's sit that down into our chair pose drawing our arms out or forward if you like just play with that so we're sitting back down we're resting back down into our heels we did this the other day in this pose as well so taking more weight into the heels lifting the toes we're going to do a twist here we're going to take our right elbow to the inside of or the outside of the left knee hands in prayer position draw the spine long head forward so really exaggerate that and then just turn and look off towards the left. Keep breathing into this space, long and deep. As you draw into the belly, you create some space in the belly organs there. 
and maybe you're reaching, maybe you're twisting a little bit deeper. So we're not straining the neck, keep breathing. And release out of the pose, come back into our chair pose, sitting down, resting here, feeling comfortable with our breath, feeling strong and supported with the feet. And bring the hands together, lengthen through the legs and come back to standing pose. Samastiti, hands at the heart space, nice broad chest, breathe all breath out. And we're going the other side, but they turn around. So we give you the other option here, reaching the arms up alongside, whether they're alongside the ears, whether you feel a little bit more comfortable with the arms out directly in front of you, sitting down as if you're gonna sit into that chair, release the toes up and breathe into this space. Drawing breath in. I was talking about suspenders again the other day, and I don't know if, if you guys remember, it would be an early practice that we would have done together if you've been with me the whole time, that we've got to remember that when we're drawing breath in, we're using these suspenders. Exhale, come back out. Suspenders again, if we've forgotten, let's just press our thumbs to be into the ribs, like the rib cage, just release them up there and just allow the middle finger to rest to those pointy bones at the top of the hips. So this is a space here that we use and we say these are the house suspenders in our training. But this is a space that you're breathing into the whole time. When you breathe in, imagine that little space there uh, that you're breathing in and releasing out. And just really notice, like you just really breathe in, sit back down into your chair, breathe in. And notice that the belly sort of sucks towards the spinal column. And then when you relax out, really exaggerate it, relax out as if you're blowing out the belly like we do in our crocodile pose. So draw breath in again. So remember to always, when you're breathing, those inhalations in and those exhalations out. You're really wanting to use that space there to help tone that core area as well. Release the arms back up alongside the body and let's exhale. Hands together in prayer and fold over the legs again. Feel that release, extension of the spine. If you feel you'd like to hold on to the backs of the legs, holding on to the backs of the legs, toes touching, hips are high and you're releasing the head down. And then come back up, release the arms alongside the body a little bit if that's what the boat's doing for you like me to do. Bring the hands together in prayer, really send those hip bones forward, arch back, relax the head back, and then bring your hands back down to your heart space. Beautiful. We're going to move back into, if you can, either sit down onto the floor, or if you have um, a seat like I have just here, or you're in the cockpit, or at home, just come to the chair cushion wherever we're just going to do a similar pose like we did with the hip opening but we're doing seated so we're just going to take our right ankle just cross it above that left knee we're just going to do a little twist pose so remember to spread the toes of that bent knee we're just going to take our left hand place it to the outside of that bent knee and reach our right hand behind us grow tall in the spine just do a gentle twist as we look over the right shoulder. A seated hip opener with a gentle twist in it as well. Keep breathing in and releasing breath out. Really turning from the belly and broadening through the chest. We're getting in a nice gentle twist, releasing with breath. And come back out of it, changing sides. Again, when we place the feet down, they're hip width distance apart. So we're going to draw that left knee in. I'm going to cross it over and just rest it above that right knee. Take our right hand, sweep it around the outside of the bent knee and reach that left hand right behind us. Spread the toes of the bent knee, press down with the foot to the floor, turn from the belly, broaden through the chest and look over the left shoulder. Send a big deep breath out. Use the fingertips behind you to help lengthen through the spine, grow nice and tall, and turn from the belly, broaden through the chest. Don't strain the neck, just gently look with the eyes over the left shoulder. And 
one last breath, come back down, place the feet back down towards the earth. Come back to your standing position, into your mountain pose. So just check in here with how you're feeling with this gentle opening and release. Have the hands spread nice and wide and close down the eyes a little bit and soften the shoulders. Just be a little more aware now as you check in with how you're feeling. How's the breath? As you draw your arms back up towards the sky, reaching, reaching, reaching. We're going to move to seated now all the way down to the mat as you fold over the legs allow the head to relax inhale come in to your halfway lift and exhale release down drop your knees down towards the mat and coming into our camel pose so remember knees are hip width distance spread our hands nice and wide behind the back Pressing our hips forward, chest forward, drop the head back. We're breathing into this expansive space, creating that camel shape, like a hump in the front of the body. Got my toes curled under, and I'm more pressing forward than I'm pressing back. And release. Come forward, reach the arms out in front of you. And just sit back down into your child's pose, releasing fingertips forward. Relax and breathe. Relax the shoulders. And inhale, come up again. Move the toes apart so the hip width distance apart. Spread the fingers nice and wide, release them behind you, or place them behind the backs of the legs, sending the hips forward, chest forward open up a little bit so every one of these as the camel pose that we're doing or each individual one I'm going a little bit deeper with the pose but you don't have to do that it's something to maybe aspire to but it takes time to create that opening draw the arms back up come back out of the pose tuck the chin down and release yourself back reaching arms out in front of you pressing toes together knees are wide and relax the head down to the earth, the floor in front of you. Draw in breath in here and release everything out. Noticing and feeling that beautiful extension of the spine. Last breath or stay right there. Remember to move the feet hip width distance apart. Bring our hands alongside the body. We're pressing our hips forward, our chest forward. And if you have the ability to hold on to the heels, this time we're going a little bit deeper or stay in the extension. The main thing here, we have our hips forward, our chest is forward, our sternum's reaching, our head's back. So we're not leaning back towards the heels with our buttocks. One more breath, tuck the chin and release the arms out in front of you noticing that flexion and extension of the spine we're moving into one way and then extending the spine out in the other way and now just press yourself back up into a downward facing dog to give that spine another nice longer release as well Always checking in with the hands and the feet, the breath, how you're using it, drawing those inhalations in, and releasing breath out, allowing that spine to descend, pressing the sit bones high here, when you press the chest towards the mat, the buttocks, the sit bones should move up high and back towards the heels. Last breath, and let's come down all the way to our mat. Let's move into our supine pose, poses, coming and lying down onto our back. And coming into our bridge pose, walking our heels towards our buttocks, 
you can see me here. I'm pressing my hips up nice and high towards the sky. Clasping my hands underneath the body, tucking the chin slightly to get into the thyroid. And relax and breathe into this front body opening. It's also a back, strength in the back. Keep breathing into this space. The gluteus muscles are getting a little tight here. Relax the knees, relax them a little bit. If you want to, take the right foot and press it up towards the sky. Go for it, you don't have to. Breathe into that space as the right heel towards the sky, the left heel towards the earth. And then drop the right heel if you press it up and press and extend that left leg towards the sky. Right heel into the mat. Breathe, drawing both feet back down and everybody roll down one vertebrae at a time and draw the knees into the chest. Breathe into this space. We rock around a little bit clockwise, any clockwise, give the lumbar a little massage and then relax the feet back down towards the earth. Oh, noticing that sun's got a bit of bite in it, even though I have got sunscreen on. We should grab a hat right about now. <laughs> We're coming to near the end of the class, drawing our heels up, coming back into our bridge pose. Always breathing. If you want to again, draw that right knee, foot up towards the sky, reach it, reach it, reach it, really press into the mat with the shoulder blades and the right. So breathe into that space and then gently release the right foot down and raise the left foot up if that's what you're wanting to do. Keep breathing into the space and release down feet and roll all the way down to the mat, drawing your knees in and rolling around clockwise and clockwise. Imagining that clock face on the lumbar area to get into every point of the lumbar. And let's finally walk the feet in, press the hips up nice and high, clasp the hands underneath the body. Now if you wanted to go a little deeper today and you know this is for someone a little bit more advanced or if you're feeling like you want to just try it, let's try and move into four wheel or just press up into bridge, walking the feet in slightly, pigeon toeing the feet, hands underneath the shoulders, crown of the head towards the mat and press up into four wheel, gathering the arms in, feel nice and strong, you come up onto the tippy toes and breathe into the space here and tap the chin everybody and wherever you are roll down all the way back down to the mat squeezing those knees into the chest and swing your feet up into the air the happy baby pose holding on to the backs of the legs sides of the feet or big toes rock from side to side <laughs> and i don't have to even think about rocking because the boat's rocking from side to side so i am too and then release squeeze the knees in and let's go feet into our beautiful Bhattakanasana or Supta Bhattakanasana space and release the right hand to the heart and the left hand to the belly. And just breathe into this space here. Relax down the breath now. Don't think about inhaling or exhaling. And maybe take a long deep breath in actually before we forget about our breath as wheel pose or bridge can be quite intense so let's just lines breath out once here before we totally relax breathing in stick the tongue out and let it go as i always say remember that your heart is the light of this world let's not cover it up with our minds releasing hands now alongside the body and lengthen the legs Allow yourself to rest comfortably, scooting the buttocks down, lumbar to the earth, releasing head up and aligning the back of the head, neck and spine in one line. Relax the shoulders, maybe lift them up and release the shoulder blades down a little bit. Close down the eyes, resting in that beautiful space. 
total relaxation and just receiving everything you've just achieved in the practice right here in these few minutes. Stay where you are, I'll gently sit up and talk you through a little bit more. Releasing your tongue from the roof of your mouth and relaxing your jaw. Honoring your space here by not acknowledging those chitvrittis in the mind. I know it's easier said than done sometimes, but just give yourself a few minutes of peace. Do not engage the thoughts. Again, relax the jaw and all facial muscles. not to aggravate you or move into the mind just let them float by this is what yoga teaches us also is that we become aware but don't always focus on things that bother us Again, that's always easier said than done. Sometimes you need to process things, but right here in this space, it's not the time for it. So relax your breath a little more, allow it to just go about its business. As the belly rises and falls naturally, the chest expands and softens all by itself. The human body is such an amazing gift. Find some peace in your heart and some softness in your body. Heaviness sinking to the earth or ocean beneath. Totally let go and feel comfortable in this space. feeling that I'm feeling right now, lying or sitting in this space as you rest in Shavasana. The boat is gently rocking me from side to side or beam to beam. I'm not holding myself rigid, I'm just allowing the motion to take me on that little journey from side to side, back to front. Go a little more, relax a little more. And take a nice long deep breath and roll over onto your side body, onto the right side. Release breath out and just stay there in the fetal position for a moment. In your own time, press the left hand into the earth to help move you back to a seated position. Sit comfortably any way you choose in half lotus or legs out in front. Place a cushion underneath you. And let's finish today with three level breath. Let's just take our hands to our belly, cupping them over top of each other any way you choose. And let's draw breath in, long and deep. Feel the belly expand under the hands and release breath out, let it go. Keep letting it go. And take three small sips of air to the lower belly, hold for three. Three small sips of air to the lower ribs, hold for three. Three small sips of air to the upper chest, heart, lungs, hold all for a count of eight, seven, six, Five, four, 
three, two, one, send all breath out. Taking the hands together in prayer to the third eye for right thoughts, back to your heart space. Namaste. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Have a beautiful day or evening whenever you join me here in the space again.